I was hunting a great huge bird whose wings stretched from one riverbank to the other. It turned and flew towards me, and I saw it was all white. All white. Its great flapping wings swallowed me up and choked me. They choked me. I opened my eyes, and I was here, in the belly of that terrible bird. We will kill the white man, and we will go home. It's in Allah's hands. It is in our hands. Allah made us warriors, Mandinka warriors. We were up in the sun, I counted the white man. I saw 20 with the long knives and the killing sticks that make smoke and fire. Ten more are in the long poles, pulling the ropes and great cloths. And the chief who stands and watches. There are 40 of us who are taken up out of here together. I have listened. Three more times the wolf beats the drums. That means there are 160 people. Some are women. But at least a hundred are men. And with a hundred warriors, the chief could raid a large village and carry off all the cattle. With chains on their feet. You have seen the piece of iron? They put it in a hole and turn, and the ankle irons open. One of them wears it around his neck. I could get it. If we had a plan. If we had a signal when we could all move. But we're different men. We can't even talk to each other. We're different tribes. Men chained together are brothers. We are all one village. Who cannot speak the same words. Who is Mandinka? Who speaks the language of the Mandinka? I am Okiu, the wrestler, from the village of Jehutswa. Who is Mandinka? I am Mandinka. I am Buwayo. From the village of Kufure. Palilu. From Uboa. Otibu. From the Fatabe village. Listen, Mandinka. Those who speak other words, words of the Wolof, of the Sereri, the Fulani, talk to the man chained to you. Teach him your words. Learn here. We will be one village. We will destroy our enemies, and we will be one village! We will kill!